Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know this is a different view. This is actually my hallway right off my craft room and my bedroom. And this is my hallway here. And here I have um, this old dresser that I have filled with um, vintage lace and appliques and all kinds of different um, like fibers and seam bindings and stuff. I have uh, this on my stories in my Instagram. But, uh, sorry, um, I just wanted to show you guys real quick because I was going to give you an overview of my craft room. So this is the door you would come in and then this is the craft area. I'm just going to shut this door and I didn't get to do an overview in my original craft room tour video because I tried to do it previous to the video and do two different videos just so it wouldn't be so long of just the overview. So I'm going to just do the overview and then do a desk share because I never shared what was in and around my desk. Um, so this is the view when you first come in and that is where I film. I've got a whole bunch of stuff there because I've been working on stuff. Um, and this is just how the flow of the room goes. Just like right there. I have that chair pulled back because I was doing this video and then somebody called me. So it stopped. So this would be this side here is my bathroom and then this is my walk-in closet. Because this was, this did used to be my um, master bedroom. Oh, my hands are going to get shaky. Sorry guys. Um, so this is the other side of the wall. And then the last side where the door is and then um, the desk is right in the middle of the room so let me just go back around sorry guys um, this is an old desk from a train station it is an antique but um, I've been I've been deba debating on whether I want to paint it or not. My husband doesn't want me to, but I really think it would be gorgeous white. And then this little um, file cabinet here, and this cute little sherbet peach color, and it totally matches my Cricut, which I love that. And in here. I store um, a lot of my jewelry making stuff and beads. Um, I don't really make jewelry anymore. I don't really wear jewelry. I wear earrings sometimes, but a lots of my um, jewelry stuff is in here. And actually, you know, I'll do a, another video of this because I did just recently organize all this and it looks super cute. So I'll go back through that later. And then here is some embellishment boxes I have here that were just from a swap. And uh, my straps. So I can just pull from that. I It's in a box. So I can just take that box out and use, just take the whole thing with me. And then here... I was doing the video when I got interrupted, but I was just going to show you this cute little, sorry, this cute little, um, organizer I got at Walmart and it's for tools. So in here is just some stuff that I've had forever. So I have some like cabochons and then like these little diamonds and random things in here. This is like really tiny little, um, ephemera basically really tiny ephemera and then um so this next one is like die cuts just random stuff in here just like some jewels and stuff i forgot about charms this is some really cute tool really cute colored flowers and tags and then This one is flowers. So all of this would be, I guess this is not flowers, but this is flowers. And then just random stuff in here. 
I just didn't want to show you the desk and not show you what was in this because I got some questions about this last time and I never went through it all. So these are little sprigs that I used to make out of beads to go behind my um, shabby flowers. And I have all different colors. So I have like pink and purple and clear and black and blue. And then that's empty. So just flowers. I would say that most of this is just like flowers. And obviously junk and stuff. I need to go through some of that. And then up here I have these little cute houses I got last winter at um, Target and some sequins that I need to put away. And then this is from Love Pink Dragonfly. She gave me this in a swap and I keep this on my desk because I think it's cute and I put stuff in it that I just bought. And the layout of my desk is pretty simple. I don't really have a lot on here that I would say I go to when I craft because I don't craft here. Usually when I craft, I'm in the family room with my family. So um, this is just holding a lot of my supplies. So here I have like all the decorative scissors you could imagine. I've kept these from like old scrapbooking days. And then these cute little containers I got at Target. And I have flowers in this one and bling in this one. There's like so much bling in here, you guys. Look how big that thing is, excuse me. And then gold flowers. And then these cute little vintage hearts. I need to take off these wires because they're supposed to be like, um, I think they're for like a wedding or something, but they hold them up like that. Oh. And I don't like that. So I'm going to take all of those off eventually and use those. I think those would be really cute on tag flips. So I have this really cute coffee cup and then pins from like the Dollar Tree. And some of these are from Swaps. And then here I have my index cards. And all the ones that everybody has sent me. I, ha I almost have this thing full, um, but I love these. These are beautiful. So many cute, beautiful. And then in here, this is a project that I'm actually working on. This is a heritage binder. And I've been working on this for weeks. But um, I just do this when I want to relax and not really think. So I just have stuff in here that I've been working on and randomly... I'm doing. Here's a little tag flip. I'll give you a little sneak peek. Heritage tag flip. And the vintage tassel. Super cute. So that's what's in there. And then behind here, my husband picked this up for me. It's an old vintage. Uh, I haven't attached it yet, but it's for pencils. It's a pencil sharpener. Super cute. So here in the first drawer, let's just do the metal first. This is all of my sequins. I was going to sit there, but I can't get the drawer all the way out. I don't know if I want to because it'll tip. But this is all of my sequins that I have so far. I wanted to, eventually, I'm going to have all of them in these little containers. I just pick them up every time I go to the dollar store. And I feel like I get enough and then I don't. So I just have to keep going back and getting more. I don't really know how many packages. I should count how many packages I would need and just get them all before they don't sell that anymore. And then I miss out. Um, but here is all of that. And I love this thing. I think I, I just love the way it looks. I love sequins too. And then we'll just start here. So this is the first drawer and it has um, little stamps here and my staples. And this is just paper tape from Hobby Lobby. I have some 
foam tape and little adhesive circles and squares. This is all adhesives. More adhesives. These are those little um, dilutions paints. And then I have some glue sticks here that should be over here. Um, I have uh, glitter glue and then all of these cute little cute colors. Um, I have more, but I have um, projects going on over here that's holding some of my supplies. And then I have more here. And these cute, beautiful um, glitters. I don't know where that... That's from Michaels. But this is... I don't know what it's called. But this has all of my glitter here and here. And my um, paints back there. And then I have like a tape container and some glue and then scissor sharpeners. So that's in that drawer. And then the next one down I have, um, I should have probably put all my supplies away before I did this video, but I just didn't even think about it. So I have um, also have uh, ink that goes here. So this is like decoupage and some more glue. I didn't realize that glue was down there. Oh, here it is. It goes in this one. I have extra glue here and more Mod Podge. And then I have my um, embossing powders and then like mica powders and stuff and more mica powders. And then my Tim Holtz distressed inks. Some of these I got at like Michael's and then like, I think these are recollections. Let me see here. Yeah, they're like shabby colors from recollections. And then I think these are like from Target. And then I picked up these, and these are close to my heart. These are super old. These could be like vintage ink <laughs> cartridges, but they work so good. And they are super old, but she must have just inked them before she got rid of them. So they are complete. I have almost have like a complete set here. And look at this color. It's like the cutest blue. Oh, I just got ink on it. Darn it. Of course. Um, the cutest blue. And then there's like all different colors of purple and yellow and gray. And I can use, I use these for like my shadowing stamps. And then I also have a whole bunch of these Stamp It Up stamps that are really still juicy. They're a little bit older too, but they're really juicy and I love them. And I have a lot of colors in that. So I didn't really need to get a lot of Tim Holtz ones. I did pick up just, you know, the basic colors of what you might need. And then I also have little, all the little ones from the Tim Holtz. And I don't remember where I put that container. So down here I have glue. I have my heat tool here. I have glue sticks, more glue sticks, my two glue guns. And then I have, I have like four glue guns and then more glue sticks here and then these are my Martha Stewart um, stencil brushes for my stencils which I've never used which I want to and I will someday let me put that back this is my um, this is where I keep all of my um, addresses for now so then when, when we come over here this drawer sorry for my chair it's old and squeaky but I love vintage things and so a lot of my stuff is old and squeaky <laughs> so anyways this holds all of my six by six and then six by eights and then what are these four by six like it holds all of these little pads all the little collections I have from like um Michael's, um, Joann's, Hobby Lobby. And then here I have envelopes that I use, really cute envelopes, colored envelopes. And then um, those tags that you put your trim on. 
And then the last drawer, I have all my watercolor. My girls have gotten into this because I have, um, this whole thing is full of inks usually. And I have several of these Heidi Swap, what are they? Metallic texture paste. And then this is like magic gloss. This is like glassy um, accents. So I have watercolors here. Then I have tools in this that's sticking out for my clay because I do um, that paper clay stuff and paint it. And then I have these little cutout things too. And then it's down here. Oh, some more um, of those little paper clay things. And then here I have like spatulas and paint brushes. All kinds of stuff in here for um, mixed media. And look at this. This is a well-loved brush. I've used this in my house even to do like touch up in the house. Um, and then all my ink... My spray inks, my Delusion, my Tim Holtz, my Heidi Swap, some I've made. Um, but yeah, that's that drawer. So I think that I should paint this white and have a white desk instead of this brown monstrosity like that's in the middle of my craft room. Because when you look at it, this is white. That table over there is white. These dressers are white. This dresser's white. These are white. This thing's white. So I think I think it would flow better. But anyways, I promised I did this I would do this a long time ago. I of course I never got around to it, but there you go. There's my desk tour and an overview of my room. Um I will talk to you guys on the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.